Hi guys, Dane here. Now, as you may have noticed, I haven't been uploading as regularly of late. I have a load of stuff filmed, I just haven't got around to editing it. Life has been busy, I will get to it soon. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I did actually post a video ages ago where I said, uh, like, I was talking about how I used to upload once a day and I was like, I'm going to drop down to three days a week. Yeah, that happened for like two weeks. And then I had a big build-up of videos, and I just started posting them once a day again. Uh, however, like, if I do have one video a day ready, then that's what's going to come out. But otherwise, that's not what's going to come out, and you'll just have to be patient with me, I guess. In the meantime, I wanted to film and edit this, because this is super quick for me to do, because the footage already exists. So, a little bit of background on this. Ages and ages ago, the dates will be on the videos, actually, which will tell you when it was, but... It was kind of when nobody was really watching my YouTube channel. I didn't really, I hadn't really taken part in the community, you know, so I was watching, but I wasn't really commenting or actively making booktube videos. If anything, I was an author tuber. I used to do a weekly writing update where once a week I would like just talk about my latest projects and whatnot, and they used to get maybe five views each week or something. So this was back from those days, but it's like an early sort of precursor of my uh, weekly reading vlog. So I actually called it A Dane in the Life because it was going to be a day in the life. But now I have, I think there's like footage of like a couple days. I don't know, I am actually going to, I haven't watched it yet. I am going to watch it when I do the editing, just to make sure before I post it. But, um, yeah. Enjoy! Hello! Well, uh, probably not a huge amount to mention at the moment. The sofa's back in place, as you can see. Still reading my uh, Peter James book. I'm watching The Book Fox on YouTube, who is a Scottish girl. Here you go, she's talking about the cuckoo's calling, or the cuckoo's calling. But I don't think she makes videos anymore, unfortunately. So, today, uh, Becca's at work at the moment, I'm just doing some work myself, I'm actually doing some work for a new client, which is some blog posts, which is very exciting, so I'm going to uh, crack on with that. Um, once it gets to about half six, seven p.m.-ish, hopefully by then I'll have, I'll have had my jog. Um, you can see I shaved my beard off yesterday, happy days. And it's uh, spoken word night here in High Wycombe this evening, so I will be going along to that and uh, hosting that. So, bow, 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 as the gangsters say. The other news is uh, there's a photographer guy called Mark Page who's doing a project here in Wycombe called Faces of Wycombe. And so I went along and had my photo taken, and this is the photo we came up with, and I think it's, it's rather nice. So if you go on my Facebook page or my Twitter, you can see that photo. But I might use it as my new author photo. We shall see. So the alcoholics are outside. I don't really want to get caught filming them. I wanted to give a shout out, actually, to um, the author whose, whose card I'm using as a bookmark here, and that's Adrian Baldwin. So Adrian is a fellow indie writer, and yeah, that's a good book. In, in actual fact, uh, his, his next book, I appear as a character in. So I believe I get murdered, which is all good. So I got my stuff pretty much ready for spoken word night. I made some notes and whatnot. Obviously, I would take this camera along and try and film a few excerpts of it for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to go and jog now. I've already had a pizza as well. This is all very exciting stuff. I'm sure you couldn't possibly live without this in... Uh, in your life, but yeah. Oh, there's a book exchange at the Rose and Crown, so I'll try and show you that later when we're down there as well. The Rose and Crown is my local pub here in Wickham. Shout out to Cedric. Yeah, I have to try and remember to tag people in these when I when I upload them. Actually, one thing I wanted to mention is that I managed to get Coinbase working again. So I've got some Bitcoin, well, digital currencies. I've got some Litecoin and Ethereum as well. So I've currently made it, I've actually put £300 in, so I've made £1.38 profit, which is uh, banging. Also, while I'm at it, while I'm taking dodgy photos of the screen, what do you reckon about these? So this is in uh, in meat, so it's going to have different chapters to it, so it's going to have, I've got these little drawings here, I want to get a set of them, that's more of a placeholder, some quotes and stuff. But each of my little mini chapters, it's going to start with that knife and fork thing. So there you go, there's your sneak peek of meat. It's, uh, yeah, how are we doing? That's how it's coming along. So it's coming along, slowly but surely. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, sleepy cat. Oh, it's a hard life being biggie. Oh, 
I also feel like there's something symbolic about this. Look, the L broke off my, my love key holder. So now it just says of. It's gone from love to over. That is quite something. Well, yeah, I'm going to go shower and get ready for spoken word night anyway. Here's my uh, Bob Marley shrine. Moment, I think I actually need that one. Don't wake up. Do I need any of the others? Oh, the, the girl on the train. I need to check on my phone to see whether I have got that. Welcome to the, is it October? It's October. Welcome to the October Spoken Word Night at the Rose and Crown. Yay! I wanted to do some early things actually, uh, in honour of the fact so each uh, each month we have a writing prompt that people can come along and um, you know use as the basis of some writing. She writes at her. The girl raised one eyebrow quizzically and then went on with her work. Another short squeak made her look up. The rat stared at her intensely. She was somewhere warm and damp. Darkness surrounded her. Gently she was fed from her mother the corner of the cage and quickly had a violent bout of diarrhoea. Oh no, it's called Christopher Dresser and the Boiling Head Incident. I was innocently gilding the lid, sort of round you know, willing near, when I saw a man with a huge boiling head on which he carried the Tibetan Book of the Dead. If you leave the house like that, go change your shirt, it makes you look fat. You're a disgrace to our family name, we just had a fight and you're probably to blame. Go to bed now, get out of my sight. It's your fault things never go right, be quiet and I don't care if it's only half nine and none of your friends still have a bedtime. So Donald Trump has become a fan of Elton John at his appearance in the UN. He thinks that Kim is singing loud of the Rocket Man reference he is proud. He is more like going along the yellow brick road as he's happier to use a racist tone. Fat kids today, they have Smithy and Nessa endlessly repeated. I had Billy Bunter and the fat kid in the double deckers. They have, they have fat rappers, rag and bone man. As a fat musician, obviously I'm compared to Meatloaf, but Meatloaf is a monstrous creation, a grotesque, as was Roland from Grange Hill and Eric Cartman. University days, coming out of an irrelevant lecture where I have lounged back for an hour and shouted, so what, silently, at a horse-hipped professor, I stumble onto the asphalt paving the campus. Open mic nights. <laughs> uh, one I wrote here, which I think is my uh, uh, Ruth, Ruth stimulated me writing this. A slant to LBG, LGBT. Is that the selling point, the USP? Oh my God, I'm becoming commercial. When will I tour? Do I recruit a backing band? How will we get on? Yeah. I mean, I'm <laughs> like, no. I will not eat. Biggie, what is the It's a treat. No, I don't write treats. I write poems. I write poems about the birds. Oh. Yes. Have you seen my manuscript? Yes, it is going to be published by Random Meows. Yes, recommended from YouTube. Yes. Oh, shit. I don't watch porn on YouTube. Yes. Hey Biggie, that looks really glamorous on you. Look at that, look at that little loop. Oh. Oh yeah, I meant to say that's pretty much the end of the spoken word night. Becca's got cheesy chips and she's drunk. When are you, when are you back to work? No comment. Okay, because you have to drive. Um, I do not have to drive, so this will be the end of this evening, I guess. Yet again, I got a bit down while I was drunk because I've quit smoking and it, it just makes me unhappy when I'm drunk that I can't smoke, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's now the following day. Um, I am hard at work, as always. I'm actually, let me show you, I'm writing a post. I'm writing an opinion piece. It's always cool when you get a client that allows you to, you know, to, uh, I mean, I'm bylined in this, for example, so, um, so this will be credited to me. So also it's an opinion piece and it's about why you shouldn't stop using freelancing sites. Um, so hopefully because I'll be bylined in it, I can actually share that link with you once it's uh, live and online. The house is in a fucking state, it's a mess. 
um, but throughout the day I will try and tidy it. And I've just started my new book for the day which is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Really good start um, and I'm looking forward to finishing it but I do also want to read my Peter James book so I'm going to finish that first and then possibly go on to Fahrenheit 451. So yeah, all in all. Oh and I finished uploading the first episode of this as well. Hey Biggie, how you doing? You good? Well we were learning about cults again. Becca's playing Skyrim, she's got to head off again in a, on a shift a bit later. As you can see, she has tidied the tabletop there as well. Very good, very good. I don't know what this program's called, what's it called? We're watching Dangerous Persuasions. While Becca plays Skyrim, she's found a chest. Basically, um, I've been hard at work for most of today, um, trying to deal with my hangover while getting some client work done. But I have made a good dent in it, so I'm hoping for the rest of the week I can take it relatively easy and actually do some of my own work. So how exciting! In the meantime, I'm off to work on meat. I need that! I'm literally just about to use that cat. Did you not hear me say I was going to write me book? So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what your favourite day of the week is. And I'll see you soon for another sort of bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Did that work? Did that video concept work? Am I even in focus? Who knows? Who knows these things? I'm going to take a picture though because I feel like I look pretty today. Well, I don't look pretty, I look grungy, but it's the same thing.